Never in a million years would I think something so simple could make me this frustrated. But my mishaps are now your fortune because it took me over 50 times to get this right. And I think I finally perfected the art of making corn tortillas. After making these so many times, I pinpointed four crucial procedures to making sure these are successful and that they puff up. They are moisture, kneading, cooking temperature, and cooking time. All are vital. You will need to do every single one to make sure these turn out perfect. Sound good? Let's cook. We're going to start off with three cups of masa harina in a large bowl. I like to use the brand Maseca. It's nice and finely ground, and another solid brand is Bob's Red Mill. It's a little bit more coarse in texture, but the flavor is excellent. We're going to add in one teaspoon of salt, mix it together using your hands, and for the first important part, hydration or moisture. We're going to be adding in two and two thirds cup of warm water at about 100 degrees. The goal for the final corn tortilla dough is that it's smooth, nice and hydrated and moist, and that it doesn't stick to your hands. Once you get to this consistency, it's perfect. That's why you add a little bit in at a time. You may need a little bit more water. You may need a little bit more maseca. And for the second part, kneading. Think pasta dough here. We are going to knead this for seven to eight minutes and knead it very, very well. You'll know it's good that when you give it a little squeeze, you won't see any cracks in that corn tortilla dough. Now, really quickly, maseca is very forgiving. If it's a little dry, you add a little water. If it's a little wet, you add a little bit more maseca. It's nothing like making a flour dough. It's much better than that. Here's what we do now. Towards the end of kneading it, I like to just form it into a nice large bowl. I do this with all of my doughs. Make it nice and packed and tight just like this. Okay, this is perfect. Now it is go time. So what we want to do is take off a nice pinch of this dough about a golf ball size or roughly two to three tablespoons. We are gonna roll it into a nice tight ball just like this. This looks perfect. We're gonna set it to the side on a sheet tray lined with parchment paper and repeat the process until all the dough has been used up. You're going to get in between 15 to 20 balls. Now immediately place a very moist towel right over the top. And I can't say this enough. If you're just gonna step away even for a minute, be sure to cover these with that damp towel. Remember, moisture is key. We wanna start getting our pan warm. I've got a great crepe griddle that works perfect. We're gonna turn the heat just a hair over medium. Another great pan to use would be a cast iron skillet or a nonstick skillet. Now I've got a small bowl of cold water. And of course, let's break out our trusty corn tortilla press. I'm gonna be using two parchment rounds to help so that it does not stick to the dough. You could use a Ziploc bag that's simply cut in half just to get everything ready here. Fine, you don't have a tortilla press, no worries. Just put it in between those two parchment paper sheets and press down with a pan, a cutting board, whatever you got that's a little heavy that can flatten it out. Seriously, that's all you need. Okay, here's what's next. We're going to dab our hands in a little bit of water, make sure everything's nice and moist, can't stress it enough. Let's remove one of the balls from the moist towel. What I like to do is sort of re-roll it out, make sure it's nice and tight and making sure to incorporate a little bit more moisture. Now for the corn tortilla press. I put the ball a little bit more towards the back and press it down a little bit, and then add the other parchment paper sheet. The reason I do this, because when you press it, it really moves forward towards the front. Give it a nice firm press, and then you're going to have a perfect corn tortilla, about six to seven inches in diameter, excellent. Now what we wanna do is gently and carefully remove the corn tortilla from the parchment paper. We do not want it to rip. All right, excellent. Now what we want to do is go back to that perfectly heated, just over medium heat griddle, gently lay down our corn tortilla in the center. It's going to cook for 45 seconds on the dot. You can have a stopwatch if you want. At that time, we're going to come back, use a little spatula, give it a flip. You can see it's gently cooked on that side. After we flip it, we're going to cook it for a minute and 30 seconds on the dot. Now we want to give it another flip after this time. You should see a little bit of browning on that other side. We're gonna cook this for 45 seconds. Give it a little press, and it should begin to puff up just like this, sealing in all that moisture, all that goodness. We know we're going to have a perfect tortilla every single time. Timing is so big. 45, minute 30, 45 seconds more, boom, you are done. Perfect corn tortillas every time. This is optional, but if you want to brown up the other side, just give it a flip for another 15 to 20 seconds. 
Once it is done cooking, we're going to add it to a towel, stack them high, let them steam over each other, or if you have a tortilla warmer, perfect. Now you just repeat the process until all of your corn tortillas are finished. The difference in flavor of these puffing up versus not is crazy. When it puffs up, it steams the masa from the inside and oh my gosh, you will never want a store-bought tortilla ever again. They are so tasty and it's so simple. But I'm telling you what, it took a crazy amount of tries to get this right. It's all about those cooking techniques. I told you. I mean, just look at that steamy goodness in there. That's perfection right there. Now what you need to do is serve these up next to my picadillo. Total game changer. I'll see you on there.